So, I'm home. So let me run down the process really quick. Um, I checked in at 7 a.m. I was called back maybe 15 minutes after I checked in. I changed, got my IV. Uh, which she had some trouble finding my IV. I mean, my vein. She had some trouble. She had to do one arm and then she went to the other arm. But she got it. She was really, really nice. I waited maybe for about 30 to 40 minutes before they took me back after they got all my vitals and everything. As soon as I was real, as soon as I was wheeled into the operation room, they took me off of the gurney type thing and put me on the operating table. Anesthesiologist put this over my face and girl, that's all I remember. When I woke up, I was in recovery and I left around 10, 30, 11 o'clock. So it was a pretty quick process. Now, now that I'm home, it's about 5 p.m. Um, right when I got home, I sat in the recliner, talked to Bay, watched TV. I have not been asleep yet. Um, maybe an hour or two after I got home, I ate some crackers, saltine crackers. I wasn't um, nauseated at all. And I had some bone broth drink this whole little container has ginger and turmeric in it good for inflammation this went down really well the crackers went down really well um i wasn't hungry i just mainly ate the saltine crackers and drank this so i could take a pain pill which i didn't want to take it's scary i don't want to speak too quickly but I wasn't in like pain like I thought I would be. Um, thank you, God. I have not experienced the gas pains in your shoulder from the gas that they pump in your stomach for surgery. And um, actually, I read that it's you get that pain because like the diaphragm gets irritated or something. But um, I was really scared about that. But I have not experienced any of that at all. Um, and the pain that I experienced, it was more like, not even like cramps, not even like menstrual, cr menstrual cramps. It's just kind of like a soreness off in there. Like where my gallbladder is, I can kind of feel a soreness. Um, yeah, but other than that, compared to what I thought I would feel, as of now, I feel great, and I feel blessed, and I pray that this feeling continues. I don't know what I'm going to try to eat tonight. I am going to keep it light, but you know, my dog. Out of everything I have read, you guys, I have researched so much. I have so much information to share. But it's just so conflicting when you read people who actually experience gallbladder removal and what they can eat and what, you know, sets well in their stomach versus what the doctor tells you. In my post-surgery instructions, girl, it said... After a few hours, if you want to eat something fatty, eat it. It literally says that. But yeah, that's my day one. Um, I'm not even really bloated. Let me see if I can show you my scars, girl, without showing you everything. Let me see. So here are my scars. I expected them to go in on the side, but I have these two scars and then my belly button but yeah we gotta get some more meat on my bones y'all 
So guys, it is day two. I'm up walking around a little bit. Still never had any of the gas pains in the shoulder at all. No gas pains. I feel pretty good. Um, I got up today. I didn't take a shower. I cleaned myself up with some antibacterial soap. Changed everything. Um, feeling pretty good, y'all. I haven't really had much to eat. I still haven't used the restroom, but I really haven't been eating enough to use the restroom. Babe went to go get me something to eat now. Some soup or pho. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is, um... The second day and I'm still feeling pretty good still kind of afraid to eat that's gonna be my issue I'm terrified to eat I'm kind of sticking to soups for these first few days I'm gonna stick to like soups and bland foods work other foods in I have been sleeping downstairs I'm a little bit too afraid to go upstairs but the doctor told me I could do the stairs he told me I could eat whatever I wanted, but just by going what I've researched and stuff, I'm going to take it a little bit easier. So I've been sleeping downstairs. I haven't tried to go upstairs yet. Um, and all the showers are upstairs, girl, so that's why I did my whole downstairs antibacterial cleansing <laughs> and to be honest my pain level i haven't had any medication today i've probably taken two pain pills and i really didn't need them i just took them just in case because i was afraid that maybe the anesthesia hadn't wore off yet but today i have not taken any pain pills um my pain level i would say is maybe at a two three I don't know if I have a high tolerance for pain, but I'm really not feeling much pain. It's kind of stiff and kind of nervous to move my stomach. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, guys. So, I will check back in with you. Mm-hmm. I know I look a hot mess, so please excuse me. But it is day three. I just got up and got cleaned up. My son went to go get me some pho. And I'm about to watch the new season of You on Netflix. I'm feeling pretty good today. I will say that I woke up a little stiff this morning. I didn't get... As much sleep I have not been sleeping as much as I think I should even with taking a couple of pain pills because I'm not really in pain I'm just uncomfortable so I thought maybe a pain pill would help me get comfortable and help me sleep better but no last night I really didn't get much sleep and it's just more of because I'm not comfortable I've been trying to sleep in a recliner which I specifically got for this because everyone said a recliner was better. But it's it's comfortable to sit in, but when you're trying to sleep, not so much. Uh, and because my bed's upstairs, I don't want to make that hike again because I did go upstairs last night to check on my dog. And when I got back down, I was a little sore. Not in pain, but I was a little sore. I could tell the difference. So that told me I need to sit my butt down and not go back upstairs for a minute. Uh, another thing I have noticed is I'm a little out of breath. Like as I'm speaking to you now, I can tell I'm a little out of breath. But um, other, than, other than that, I've been feeling pretty good. Still no side shoulder pain, no bloating. Um, Yesterday I had some chicken noodle soup, some skinny pop. Uh, I had a 7-Up Zero. I had a pineapple perfection smoothie from Juice Shack. And everything did settle well with my stomach. Now I will say this. Everything I eat seems to give me gas. <laughs> 
not bad gas at all not painful gas just you gonna have some poots and toots when you eat <laughs> you gonna have some poots and toots girl yeah i'm doing really well i have me some hot green tea right here i'm waiting for my son to come with my pho i do want to say thank you guys for all the love and positivity and well wishes on instagram um if you're not following me on instagram you should follow me if you want to know like a little bit more about me now on my page page it's just food pics y'all <laughs> but if i post on my stories it's just like day-to-day -day stuff pictures what i'm eating for dinner um i've been updating about my gallbladder and my gallbladder surgery and stuff on there so i know my page looks pretty bland but girl sometimes them stories be popping <laughs> so you should follow me on instagram but to all those who do follow me on instagram and have sent well wishes and prayers and all that thank you thank you thank you thank you i appreciate it so much i haven't had to take any gas pills or gas eggs girl i was prepared with my emodium for the diarrhea i was prepared with my gas x for the gas i was prepared with my miralax for the stool softener uh, I have a whole basket over here of supplements and medicines because I wanted to be prepared. But um, the only thing I have taken was two pain pills since surgery. And that was because I was afraid that I wasn't feeling the pain because of the anesthesia. And, like, I'm not really feeling the pain, so I don't want to keep, keep taking the pain medicine and get constipated and when i don't really need it and let me say this i have not used the bathroom i've gone number one of course but i've not gone number two yet so i don't know if that's because i'm not eating much or if i am constipated so that's kind of scary <laughs> This is a pretty basic pho. The noodles, the broth, there's some cilantro in there, and chicken, and basil. I'm not gonna put all the delicious seasonings. I usually like sriracha. I usually like um, some hoisin sauce, and lime, and girl. I'm gonna eat it pretty basic. But because I got chicken in it, I'm gonna go ahead and take one of these daily enzymes to help break down the chicken i'll start off with yesterday i didn't do an update yesterday yesterday went pretty well uh, no pains yesterday i ate i had some steamed white rice with garlic salt which is something i eat anyway <laughs> i had a toasted baguette i had a little bit of soup i had some skinny pop and the highlight of my day was a apple cinnamon Nutri-Grain bar in the air fryer, girl. It is delicious. If you've never had a Nutri-Grain bar in the air fryer, you have to try it. It takes it to another level. My shower went well. I feel nice and clean and refreshed. Um, I was a little scared to get my, my incisions wet. <laughs> the tape I didn't want them to fall I don't want the tape to fall off so um, but it didn't I pat it you have to just pat it dry but I do notice if I move around a little bit too much I do get out of breath a little and um, a little uncomfortable I still won't say it's pain because I, I, I have really not experienced any pain it's more just feeling uncomfortable and um, it just feels like Sometimes it feels like there's a little catch under my rib where my gallbladder was, so. I'm starving, you guys. I wish I could eat like a salad and some chicken or like some healthy tacos or not even, I'm not even craving like bad foods or fried foods. I just want like a salad or like some roasted chicken and potatoes and green beans and, huh, but I'm terrified to eat it. And they say you should really stick to bland, clear food, soups, pastas, and stuff for the first week. So I'm going to try to do that. But I've been 
restricted in diet for like months and months and months now. Ever since my gallbladder has been acting up, I changed my diet. Um, no fried foods, no cheeses, no leafy greens. Um, just so many things would upset my gallbladder. Even if it was healthy, it just depends. No fats. That's why I've dropped so much weight. I've been on such a restricted diet for months. <laughs> so now that my gallbladder is out, I'm just like, ooh, I want to eat everything. I want to eat everything, but then I don't want to get sick. So I'm trying to be smart about it. I haven't had a bowel movement since the day before yesterday. But I really, I feel like I'm not because I haven't really been eating too much. Um, yeah, you guys, I just feel really good. I feel really good. When I start to get uncomfortable, I take a pain pill, which I hate it. I hate it. But it does make me more comfortable and more relaxed and able to, like, rest, I would say. I have a prescription for 20 pain pills, I think, and I've taken four four or five so I have not taken many I'm just I hate it but um, I feel like I do need to to get comfortable my incisions are still seem like they're healing well I thought I would have four but I only have three the two up top and then the one in the belly button when I go back for my post-surgery appointment I'm gonna ask if there's any pictures if there's anything I can see like I just hate that they can take an organ out of your body and not show you it because <laughs> I really want to see it. I want to see, I want to see the stones. Where are the stones, girl? Let me see them. But for now, I'll just say it's been pretty smooth. It's been pretty smooth and I pray it stays this way. I'm really nervous right now. Everything's going so well. I don't want to mess anything up by eating something that, you know, upsets my stomach. I do have a lot of um, supplements. I do have some digestive enzymes and bile salts and all that, but I still feel like it's kind of early to take that. I'll give it a full week and then try some out and my probiotics and all that stuff again, my milk thistle and all that, which I, I've been taking these things for about a year now. Um, honestly, before my gallbladder issue i've been taking a lot of supplements and stuff that's just me i'm gonna i'm someone who's into supplements and herbs and stuff like that mentally physically emotionally this has been a journey and i know my journey isn't over yet you guys that gallbladder pain it was worse than childbirth like it was it was bad it was bad to and to feel like you were starving like you want to eat but you can't eat because the pain felt like it was going to kill you like i'm ready to do my hair i'm ready for my color to come back in my skin my vibrancy is my eyes are just dark underneath and bags i still have jaundice it gave me really um, my gallbladder my gallstones all that gave me really bad jaundice my eyes were so yellow and so just dingy looking. Like that was one of the first things I noticed before I even had gallbladder pain. I noticed my eyes were very, very yellow. And that wasn't like, like why are my eyes so yellow? Um, I had, and I also wanna say, even if you've had, if you go and have like your cholesterol checked and stuff and they say the your 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 levels are okay, but I have that gray ring around my iris. That was one thing I noticed. I was like, where is that coming from? And after doing a lot of research, I saw that it was like cholesterol buildup, you know? So it's like tests aren't always accurate at all. Don't depend on the test. Like if it says, oh, you're fine, don't depend on that. Do more research, figure things out. Sometimes you have to be your own doctor and that sucks, but I've been my own doctor, girl. I'll, I'll look something up in a minute. I stay on Google. <laughs> yeah, I'm just ready to start looking like myself again and feeling like myself again.
hello <laughs> so today is tuesday you guys it's almost been a full week it's almost been a full week y'all let's see let me start off with yesterday i did not give you guys an update yesterday yesterday was a good day um didn't really have pain i woke up with a slight headache but i figured that was because i hadn't had a second bowel movement since surgery so um for breakfast i had some oatmeal and then i had an apple for more fiber because right after surgery they tell you to stay away from they tell you to stay away from fiber rich foods so you don't have diarrhea so uh that's why they tell you just a bunch of rice and soups and breads and stuff so i i knew that was what the headache where the headache was coming from was i needed to go to the bathroom girl so I went ahead and had that oatmeal and apple, and it did work. I could still could have used a little bit more fiber, if you know what I'm saying, but I did end up having my second bowel movement, which was totally different from the first one when I ate that pho. I did move around a lot more yesterday. I did a tiny bit of cleaning because it was just driving me crazy. I don't like things out of their place or just strode. So I did a tiny bit of cleaning yesterday, and I also um, got a little bit more food in yesterday. I had the oatmeal, I had an apple, I had some more Skinny Pop, um, I had some tea, and I also, for dinner, I had uh, Trader Joe's vegetable fried rice, which I added more seasonings and some soy sauce and oyster sauce too. And I also, uh, my son went and got a rotisserie chicken and I took a little bit of the chicken breast and I ate it with the rice. So I basically had chicken fried rice and it was so delicious, you guys. It settled so well in my stomach. I didn't have any pain. I didn't even really have any gas. I will say after surgery, um, every little thing I eat seems to give me gas, not bloating or painful gas, because it show do come out. It comes out, <laughs> you're gonna have toots and boots but um, it seems like a lot of things give you gas. But that didn't give me gas last night. Um, and it settled well, and then after that, I had some Boom Chicka Pop kettle corn. So I got in some food yesterday, and I felt amazing. I do notice if I get up and um, do a little bit too much by the end of the day, I'm feeling a little bit tired and uncomfortable. Never pain, really. It's just more of an uncomfortable or a heaviness in my stomach. So um, by the end of yesterday, I was feeling a little bit tired. I took a pain pill, watched some TV, and fell asleep. I woke up today, which is Tuesday, and I felt amazing. I got straight up and washed a load of clothes. I cleaned the kitchen a little bit, washed a little bit of dishes, went upstairs, took a shower. I moved, helped my, well, my son did. I kind of directed him <laughs> but I moved my living room back to where it's supposed to be I still have my um, blow-up mattress down here now I will say the blow-up mattress is so much more comfortable than the recliner uh, I had got the recliner just because a lot of people said the recliner was more comfortable for them but honestly the blow-up mattress was more comfortable for me um, I'll be honest I have not had anything to eat today and it's already three o'clock and I know that's horrible, but I just really haven't had an appetite, probably because I was doing too much today. Um, but right now I'm gonna eat a little bit of soup and then I think I'm gonna have the same thing for dinner, the Trader Joe's fried rice with the chicken breast because it was so good, you guys. Oh, it was so good. But um, other than that, I'm I've, I've feeling great. I'm feeling really, really good. Uh, I listened to some music today when I was in the shower. I caught myself trying to dance, so I know I'm feeling good. <laughs> yeah, I just gotta watch myself because when I'm feeling good, I tend to do a little bit too much. And like I said, by the end of the day, I'm feeling a little just tired and run down. So I gotta watch that. One thing that I noticed was I have like a slight rash on my abdomen and on my sides, you can barely see it. Um, it's like a slight, tiny little bumps all over my sides, my inner arms, um, and my face. I had looked it up and it freaked me out because there's so many people who said they ended up with a rash a few days later 
after gallbladder surgery. And I'm like, why? Why? Why the rash? Some people said it lasts for months, so I kind of freaked myself out. Yeah, I don't know if it was from the antibacterial soap or something they used. Um, my doctor did tell me he was using like some new procedure where they inject iodine into the binary tree ducts or whatever to make sure nothing's in it. Or something new, he said, and he asked me if I was allergic to iodine. I don't think I am, so I said no. But um, I figured it could be that. It could be what they used to clean me with, or it could be the pain medication. So I don't know. And it's a little dry. But yeah, um, that was one thing I noticed was like a slight rash. It doesn't seem to be getting any worse, but it's still there. So I'm going to watch that. Um, what else? I don't know if you can see the little rash, but I have like a little rash. Like tiny fine bumps all over my stomach and my back. Yeah, I don't know if it's from the medication or what, but. Good morning. So today marks one week post-op. Girl, that week flew by. But um, I'm gonna have a little bit of yogurt. I'm gonna try out some yogurt this morning for breakfast. I have some very vanilla yogurt and a little bit of maple pecan granola <laughs> with a little bit of flax seeds and chia seeds. Sorry, my brain is just not working yet. But yeah, we're gonna try this out this morning I didn't eat much yesterday I didn't have an appetite but I really you guys I'm really trying to get my weight up so I have to get some food in um, but yeah we're gonna try this out for breakfast let's see how this goes it looks good girl when you ain't been eating a lot everything looks good this looks amazing <laughs> y'all my sandwich is extremely basic I have some rotisserie chicken breast and an avocado and it has like lemon pepper and garlic salt and black pepper in it so we're gonna see how our belly does with this I'm adding a little bit more fat healthy fat um, honestly I want this to help with my bowel movement so I'm hoping the avocado has enough fat in it to loosen things up <laughs> But yeah, this is gonna be my lunch. I'm eating this with some barbecue pop chips. Girl. Yeah. 